today we're going to go over, I start all my videos that way. All right, today, hello children, welcome. Today, um, we're going to go over the cuts of chicken, or where do our meat products come from on our chicken. Now, here we have a broiler chick. He's chirping a little bit, but that's okay. He'll get used to me hanging on to him here in a second. So, broiler chickens are, hold on. There we go. So broiler chickens are chickens that our meat products end up coming from here. And as you can see on our little chart, our poor featherless dead bird here, um, where some of these different things come from. So I'm gonna actually point it out on our live bird here. So one of the major things that most people think of when they think about chicken would be the chicken breast. So if we take this little chicken here, we kind of flip him over. This muscle right down here, where you can see the skin rotating on, would actually be the breast. So the breast sits on either side. Right here would be its keel bone, the bone that runs down the center. The breast is gonna sit on either side of the keel bone, which you can see in our picture right down here. The tenderloin, because that's a pretty popular cut, actually sits right down underneath the breast, right next to the keel bone. So it's actually its little individual muscle that sits right down in there. Chicken wings are a pretty popular thing. So obviously here would be our wing. The wing is divided up kind of into three portions. The drumette, which is the top part of the wing that attaches closest to the body. The flat or wing portion, which is made super popular by bone-in wings. So that would come from this section. You can kind of see the shape right in here. And then the wing tip, which pretty much doesn't count for anything. So if we look on our chart here, over in the top section here, here would be our drumette. Here would be our wing portion or our flat, or they call it the mid joint. And then the wing tip, doesn't really account for a whole lot, okay? Um, as we move back into the bird here a little bit more, right down in here, would kind of be the back half of our bird. You okay, buddy? So as we go into the back half, right up in here would be, uh, so this area right here would be the whole leg. The top part of the whole leg would be the chicken's thigh, right up in here. And then we've got the drumstick, which would be the next portion right here. So if we look on the back part of our chicken here, we've got the thigh up in there and the drumstick down here. Underneath where the drumstick is, this would be considered our shank and our feet, which most, some people will eat as paws. Personally, not a fan. But if you go to some countries, they make paw soup, actually quite a bit. So here we got the feet, AKA the paws. Um, some internal parts that we don't really see, or the tail, which isn't really used for a whole lot in general. We've got internal parts of the gizzard. A lot of people will eat them breaded and fried. The gizzard would be basically a part of the bird's digestive system. We've got the liver, pretty self-explanatory, and the heart. So in real life, the heart is about, well, kind of hard to justify my fingers, but about this large or not quite the length of a quarter. Um, the liver would be about the size of a half dollar or so, and the gizzards would be kind of about half dollar to quarter size um, also. Now our little birdies calm down. So those are a little bit about, oh, we also have the neck. Um, I don't know if we can actually really see the neck here. Chickens and most birds in general kind of keep their neck tucked in a lot. So their neck is actually a lot longer maybe than most people would think, but the neck is sometimes used in a lot of things also. Soup, for example, would be one of those things. So as we can see our neck here. And then in some cases, we have different pieces of the breast uh, broken down as well. The back would just be this part right up in here. Not a lot of muscle on the back, but it is good to pick off chicken. Um, so chicken nuggets or ground chicken would kind of come from a few places. So if it's uh, whole breast nuggets, they would come from, again, the breast of the bird. Otherwise, if they're nuggets like McDonald's nuggets or something ground and breaded you would get in the store, uh, those would come from after we take off these bigger pieces, all the little scraps of meat that are left get thrown into a container, ground up together, and they're used to make ground chicken. So chicken for hot dogs um, or any of those kinds of things would all come from that space. See that friend? That's right. 